Welcome back to A Day in the Life 3D Experience. I'm Nit Sweeney, and in this episode, let's talk about releasing data in the platform. Before we really dive in, let me talk really quick about the platform. This tool is highly configurable, and the tasks you have access to may vary. What we'll go through here is working in both the web-based platform, as well as the SOLIDWORKS CAD option. Every CAD object that we put in the platform is assigned a lifecycle state. To view that lifecycle and state, we just need to drag the file into our collaborative lifecycle app. Now we don't have any files in here right now, but if I did, I can clear it out just by closing that file. Okay, so notice that we have a table with information about the file and a visual for what the lifecycle looks like. That table and the maturity state column line up so we can verify where the file is in its lifecycle. And if we had multiple revisions, we would have multiple rows. However, this is just our first revision, so we only see the one row. When we want to transition a file, perhaps to the frozen state, we need to select the transition from the visual aid. Now, depending on your setup, you might have different transition names or access to different states. So we'll select freeze, and the platform will move the assembly to a frozen state, which is basically like a holding pattern where the file can be reviewed. Once this is done, we can see a live view telling us that the file is now frozen. But not everybody is going to be transitioning files from the web interface, so let's take a look at this in another application. If I right click on my assembly and go to open with, I get a list of apps. If the app you want isn't in the list, click on the more apps and pick it from your list. Now we've got the assembly open in SOLIDWORKS. Our task pane on the right is our access to the platform. We can customize the columns to show what we want, but here I care about the component and the maturity state. I've reviewed the design and I'm ready to approve it. In the 3D Experience add-in, I have two ways to approve the file. I can either right click on the file and click maturity, or I can select the file and click the maturity button at the bottom. Clicking this will pop open the maturity dialog that we saw earlier. We can look through the different states and make sure we have the right one. Now one thing I want to make sure I do here is click Include Structural Components. What this does is it makes sure that when we approve the assembly, it also approves any children or subcomponents. We want everything to be approved together. When we select Release, the 3D Experience platform will do the exact same thing that we saw on the web. It grabs the assembly, as well as any referenced components, and sends them to the next lifecycle stage. Now SOLIDWORKS will refresh the information, and we can see the maturity state update in real time. When we switch back to the web client, we looked at the same assembly we had before, and now we notice that the maturity state is set to released. 